So just recently I found a nice collection of um, assembler files together with a, a really clever system for compiling them into a, a P file that you can download straight onto a ZX81 or a, or a ZX81 emulator. So it's from a site, a YouTube channel called Byte Forever. And as well as, as, well as um, describing how he writes these and what he's written, he, he's, um, he gives a link to the GitHub repository that he's been using. So it's very nifty. Uh, so I've taken his um, Tetris game and just modified it. Um, I hope in a way that he will approve of. Um, just um, made the keyboard response a little uh, faster. And um, uh, ironed out a few of the bugs that he noted that he'd still got in his code. And um, it's, a, it's a neat little game. So most of it's still, um, still the original Byte Forever code. But it's really nice of him to make it available. And uh, certainly enjoyed um, learning what he'd been doing with it. One of the nice things about using Atom as an editor is it allows you to see whether the command you put in has been recognized by highlighting it in purple. So now that we've got our assembler the way we want it, we can just open a PowerShell and run the bash script to execute it. And the nice thing is that if you make a mistake, in your code somewhere. The error messages in uh, this AZ80 assembler are very clear, it tells you the line number and what it found as an error, what it didn't recognize. Very, very simple to correct your code, unlike some other assemblers, which are really quite obscure, don't really tell you what's going on. So once you've got your file compiled and you've got your .p file, you just go into 81 and um, load the p file. Make sure that you go into the tape manager and click the little uh, electric light bolt, light bolt, <laughs> electric lightning bolt, and because um, that'll do a fast load rather than having to wait for a minute or so whilst it loads it slowly. 81 simulators available online. All the source is available from SourceForge, um, but you just need the executable. Click the link and download it. Find the executable in there. And the assembler you need is the TASM assembler, Telemark assembler. You can find it in this uh, second link here. This download the uh, executable and. Uh, either make TASM on your path, or I'll show you in a bit, place it in a folder with your code. So here's the, uh, here's the repository from the Byte Forever. So here's his repository, and it's, it's great. It's got loads of different um, games written in assembler, mainly 1K games. Uh, it's got the batch file that you need to run to actually assemble the code. So here it is. And so if you, if you put TASM on your path, then you just need to have this line that says TASM and then the, the options for it. But if you've done what I've done and you've put TASM in a folder in with your code, as you can see up here, then you just have to modify that bash uh, script. Not bash, sorry, bash script. And um, I had an old, I downloaded an older version of um, TASM by mistake first, and that gave me some error messages. So if you get some strange error messages, just check you've got the right version of TASM. You can see at the start of the, uh, every game file has got that at the start, and these includes at the bottom. And these are what allow the compiler to make the P file. 